Previously on the Swiss Car Guy. I basically already sort of, kind of committed to buy the car. I will not reveal what car I'm buying in this video. I will reveal it in the video that I'm going to film today. I want you to guess in the comments down below what car it is that I'm going to buy. And now we interrupt this car reveal for an important tax declaration. Welcome to the 2022 edition of Mario Does His Taxes. Show him the damn car. Oh, all right, all right. <laughs> So here we are on a very cold and very windy November day to show you the car I purchased. It's a 1964 Cadillac Coupe de Ville. Two door, more than 300 horsepower and older than the two cars I own. Would you have guessed it that this is the car I bought? Let me show you around. Well, the paint is um, not in very good condition, but this car is going to get repainted, let alone this side here. Um, it's missing some chrome, and these chrome strips are actually quite difficult to find because they are different for the coupe versus the limousines, and the Eldorado still have another trim level. On the back, you see, the chrome needs a bit of work. And of course, the paint is quite faded and it's chipped and it's dented. But I don't really care because the car is going to get a full body respray. Um, yes, this car comes with wire wheels that I don't really like. Fortunately, I think the original wheels with the hubcaps are available as well. I mean, they come with the car, but they will have to go on because I don't like these wire wheels. They don't suit the car. Also, looking at the car, you might notice that it sits a tiny little bit high at the front. And that's mainly because the rear shocks are not that good, but also this is a factory air conditioning car and it comes without air conditioning. Somebody has taken it off during the years, which means that because factory air conditioned cars had a bit harder springs in the front, the car sits a bit too high. And how do we know that this is a factory air conditioning car? Oh, this is a heavy hood. Whew. We see here, this is where the AC compressor should have been. And it has a bracket for the AC compressor. But no AC compressor. The motor is a 429, which is a 7 liter V8. It actually runs quite nicely. 
It has a brake booster because this car, of course, has power brakes. And it has power steering because it's a Cadillac, right? And if it was an air conditioning car, which it actually is, right here would be the condenser, which I don't have. Let's look at the interior. It has a very 60s interior, I like it very much. And it is my perfect chromatic combination, which is white interior with a black dash top. It's not super clean, but I can work with it. And funnily enough, this is a coupe that is larger than my Lexus. It does have a modern aftermarket stereo, which I believe has Bluetooth, if I'm not completely wrong. And also the vents. The vents are a feature of the AC cars. Non-AC cars did not have the vents. Oh, and speaking of AC, here we have it. The comfort control, which is automatic climate control. First year, 1964. As for the rest, the car is in okay shape. It is very old after all. And it's... Wow. And not everything is aligned perfectly. But it's in good shape. I mean, it's an old car. What do you expect? Electric windows, which is something Cadillac offered in the 60s. That's nice, isn't it? This has a very, very, very large trunk. And I mean, it's one of the reasons the car is actually 68 centimeters longer than my Lexus, because it has a humongous trunk. Sure, it doesn't have trunk liners, which I guess is not great, but the advantage is, without any carpets and anything, you can see that it's solid, and that's important. You can see that there is a little bit of rust bubbling, but this will be taken care of once the car gets resprayed. So that's it. That's my 1964 Cadillac. And next time you see this car, it will be in a different color and hopefully in much better shape than it's now. Anyway, that's it for this video. If you like this video, please leave a like. Um, comment what color should I paint this car and uh, please subscribe to my channel in case you haven't yet and that's it for this video thank you very much for watching bye